What's up, guys? So if you were following me on Twitter today, you'll know that we had the entire price action um, expected for today before the day started, and you'll also know that the entire day tracked um, almost to a T, as close as you're going to get when it comes to fractals. And so I want to show you guys where this idea came from and how we came about to it. So last night, someone on Reddit messaged me about the possibility of the fractals playing out in reverse and for those of you who don't know fractals are just specific price actions like for example this fractal is down sideways V another V and then up so this fractal for example can play out on the 5 minute on the 30 minute on the 1 hour on the yearly on the weekly on the daily um, it's the same price action that happens over and over in reverse flip mirrored um, and that's part of the algorithm. So um, the idea came from the 69 tweet on January 28th, which he took to mean reverse. And so if we start on January 28th and we go reverse of all the previous price action that came in this cycle all the way back to November 23rd, um, and we overlay it to future price movements, it tracks really, really well. And so let me show you guys what I mean. So this blue right here is this price action right here. Um, so all these lines, so green to green is mirrored, um, light green to light green is mirrored, and then blue to blue is mirrored, and so on and so forth. So I took the bar overlay right here um, from this and moved it here, and I took the bar overlay from this and moved it to here, and I took the bar overlay from here and moved it to here, and I want to show you guys what it looks like. So with all these things they're never gonna play out exact but they can definitely be close so for example with this one right here um, you can stretch it out like that and then you can flip it and you'll find it one second right over here so the fractals are never going to be exact due to like volume and all that stuff and different variables but they're a lot of times very close and so far we've had pretty good success tracking the entire previous cycle now in reverse so I'll move this back to here bring it down and you can see how well it fits in to this price action. Right? So today, um, oh, so very important. Sometimes the fractals can be, re can be really sped up. So these are like pretty even in time. And uh, I guess you could say this was also light green to light green was pretty equal in time. But when it comes to this fractal, for example, so blue to light blue and blue to light blue, we figured out that this entire thing um, was actually sped up 3 to 1 when it played out here in reverse. And I'll actually show you guys what that looks like. So you see how well this tracks, right? And then if we stretch it out like that and then flip it, and then bring it over it plays out right here So the fractals are, um, you know, never perfect, but sometimes they can give you a really good idea of where the price is going. And so um, that should be better. Yeah, look at that. Right. So if we go, so we basically figured out um, that today we're up to December thirteenth. And that was the price action you guys were looking at on the Twitter all day. So that came out to this. And you guys can see that um, it, it basically was tracking perfectly the entire day. Now, it, was, it looked like there was going to be a really big run-up at the end of the day. But um, after reevaluating, you know, that could easily be going into tomorrow. 
And so I took the next fractal, which starts on December 10th, because if today we tracked this right here, then tomorrow we would track from the thir from the 10th to the 13th. So price action was going this way, but we're going to reverse it going from right to left. And so I took this price action right here, and you guys could do the same thing by just hitting the bar pattern going from here to here. And then I, I moved it over all the way to where we are today. Um, right here and so this is what I'm looking at for tomorrow right here not the second part but this price action so I'm expecting a spike in the morning followed by pretty sideways trading leading into further upwards movement later in the afternoon um, this is this is how it looks like on the 30 minute timeline and this is how it looks like on the five minute. So this is the price action I'm expecting for tomorrow. You guys could all track this along on your own. And we'll see if the reverse fractals continue to play out. Um, now just a quick talk about OPEX. So I was showing you guys, you guys know this, that um, all these previous OPEX they also landed up, also lined up with the Dooms expiry. And for the first time we were having OPEX right here. Um, and Dooms expiry due on March 1st or March 2nd. So I don't know. You guys could you guys could come to your own conclusions. Was this green OPEX or was OPEX really not driving these previous price movements, but rather was it deep out the money puts? And if so, we'll see that March 1st. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll never know. You guys could come to your own conclusions about that. Honestly, the price action does look uh, pretty similar to the November OPEX, but and that would continue into tomorrow, but we'll see how that plays out. Either way, let's get to the technicals. We are looking unbelievable on in every sense of the word. So let me show you guys what this looks like. Okay, so on the one hour chart, we have long on the QQE and we're long on the boom hunter and the white and blue lines just crossed critical resistance right here which should lead to more movement upwards and the yellow line has crossed above the red and the green which is a very bullish signal at, at as well that's on the one hour and on the six month also we got the long trigger at the end continuation on the boom hunter and boy is that bullish now what we're looking for is the white and blue lines to go above this red resistance and the yellow line crossed above here as well. So the setup looks amazing going into tomorrow. I'd be really surprised if we don't get further upwards movement, but let's see how it plays out. And the best news of all, on the weekly, the QQE is curling up, getting close to breaking above this. And I've showed you guys this before in the past. If you see my previous previous videos, this in the past has led to anywhere between 70 and a 1,000% price increase. So stay tuned for that because if that crosses, um, here, were the, here was the past three, and I'll zoom in for you guys so you guys can see. Um, so yeah, so here 395 went up to 657. That's a double in price. Here it was 414, went up to 12, that's a triple in price. And the next one came on January 19th, right here. And you guys all know what came next. So weekly QQE trigger, that's really bullish. Let's see how that plays out. Right here, we've got a little more room to go, but it's the closest we've been in an entire year. And on the Boom Hunter, also pretty incredible how this is shaping out. But if we break through this upper line resistance, um, at least from everything that I've seen in the past, if this breaks through, things are gonna get absolutely nuts. And we also have, you guys could see that, um, three white breakout candles in a row on the weekly, followed by a yellow pin bar. Pin bar means price most likely is not going lower, and the it's just a battle between um, buyers and sellers, with buyers most likely to take control, which is what happened. Three white breakout candles in a row on the weekly is usually a telltale sign of things to come uh which is a breakout so we're gonna see how that plays out let's see what tomorrow holds 
Um, this is what I'm tracking, and we'll see if this plays out for us tomorrow.